This broadcast was made possible by public television. And viewers like you. And now it's time for a week in review story on Renee and Laura Mason. Hey, so we're pressed for time today because Blad Holgaff still wants to do sport report, even though we haven't had a football game in like 10 months because of the lockdown, so I don't even know what he's going to talk about. He's also not a particularly strong uh, enunciator, and his mic technique sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's crazy. Hold on to your head. I can never understand a word this guy's saying. I think he's Slavic or something. Well, that's not really the issue. Well, uh, not chiefly, but um, I tell you, it really doesn't help. There's no football game at Dodger Dicks today. The showers are not showering, the hustle is not bustling, and the loft is well there are a lot. For all the performers on the field, the Dodgers have faced a long standing and consistent out with adversity, but they've never faced anything like this. So, how many touchdowts have you scored this season? Absolutely zero. You ever regret attending Dong Road? Sure, sure. Because now you don't get to play the season. Because uh, of that too, I suppose. Yeah. You said you scored no touchdowns this season. Oh, well, I'm a punter. You're a punter. Well, that fucks this report up. Blab, like, Mr. Bagel really wants us to avoid, like, F-bombs and everything while we're on public access children's education. The same network shows cartoon tits after 9 o'clock. Okay, well, then let's, like, lead by example. Okay, so, uh, with the weather, here's Spencer Mavis. Thanks, Lord. No, well, it's really cold out there, which will come to no surprise to those who remember that it's fucking winter. Uh, I guess you were listening to Sport Report just now. I was not listening what happened. Doesn't matter, forget it. Back to you. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so now we have the arts, which was a thing set up by Dr. Pagel's drama class. And they act stuff out, but people said it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, and they're gonna go out on a limb, but hey, if they wanna, like, drop any F-bombs. Yeah, I think we probably wouldn't come down on these people if they wanted to do it. Yeah. Because they're artsy. I'll give you a dollar for it. I, I told you that the price was $20. Uh, I only brought a dollar with me. Well, you know I came to the trouble of coming down here to meet you. Yes. And when we spoke on the phone, I told you that the price would be $20. Yes. And now you're telling me that it's $1. What the hell is this? Dude, your mic's on. I turned the other offers down because you told me you would give me $20. All right, so now there are no more buyers, so the value of the item comes down. You do. Or crazy. Okay, I'll give you ten. Okay, well that's great. We'll keep checking for uh We're not done yet. Yeah, we haven't got to the punchline. That was a comedy? You guys should try to do better for next time. That was kind of boring. <laughs>